I mean, it helps a little bit, but at the same time, we're so focused on what's going on in this this group of guys we have. We're not really focused on the out, outside noise and what they think we're going to do because first couple of rounds, they didn't think we were going to get past that. So we're not really worried about what others are thinking. We're just going to take care of business as we go. When you look at this Cleveland team, Isaiah, how different are they now? Are they a better team than when you saw in the regular season than what you see in the playoffs? Um, yeah, they're playing. They're playing really confident. Um, they're playing at a high level. Everybody on that team is playing at a high level, so it's going to be tough. But we're here and we're we're ready. Have you learned anything from the way they played you in the playoffs two years ago? No, we're a totally different team. I'm a totally different player, and I, I probably I'm definitely not going to watch that. So. <laughs> What is the key to taking care of this Cavs team at home tomorrow night? Um, limit their transition, limit our turnovers. Uh, we play them pretty well in the half court, so if, if we could get them to slow the game down and, like I said, limit those two things, that, that puts us in the, by the best position to, to win tomorrow. It seemed to, uh, after that, that series against Cleveland a couple of years ago, you became a more diverse player offensively. It seemed like you kind of figured out you needed to do a lot more things differently to be effective. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah, I mean, I can't always just score. Uh, I got to be able to continue to make plays, get in the paint, put pressure on the defense even when I'm not scoring. So I'm just becoming more of a student of the game. I'm games maturing more, and I'm, I'm just getting better. So um, I think that's just the difference from between then and now. Isaiah, last night you said your whole body hurt. How are you feeling today? I'm great. <laughs> yeah. You said you watched Paul Pierce against LeBron. Did, did Pierce, by any chance, get in contact with you after you put that out there? Nah, he hasn't texted me. He hasn't hit me up, so. Mm. Isaiah, you talked about what experience good moments in the playoffs, and you had a big one, obviously, in Game 7. I wonder what it was like um, walking off the court after that, that performance, having your dad there, and with that break of playing. Um, it was, I mean, everything you dreamed of. That was my dad's first playoff game this year, so it was special for him to be there and for him to get his mind off a few things and just be in the area, be in the place where it was all love and support. So um, I was glad he came out, and um, he's always a good luck charm for me. Are you looking forward to maybe, you know, obviously over your stage to face LeBron in the playoffs? And that was one of my favorite guys. Really good moments in this series. Yeah, just staying in the moment, looking forward to it. It's a big moment. We've never been here before against the defending champs. Uh, everybody's counting us out, so it's, it's, it's special for us. We're, we're ready take on whatever they bring. At the start of the season, did you think personally to yourself that this was possible for this team to go this far and reach the Eastern Conference Finals? I did. I mean, but if I would have told you all that, I mean, everybody would have probably laughed at me, but that's just the way I think. I believe any team that I'm a part of, not just saying me, but that we have a chance. And um, this team believes we have a chance, and we know we have a chance. We're the number one seed for a reason. I mean, it can be. I mean, they, they definitely getting a lot of rest, but at the same time, um, you'll be your rhythm won't be there as as if you were playing in games. That's just normal. Um, practice isn't game, so their rhythm might be off a little bit. But I mean, they're the defending champs. They know how to win. Are you tired from playing all these games? No, I mean, I like playing more than practicing. So <laughs> um, it. It's a it's a good feeling to be able to continue to keep playing, and it's almost the end of May, and teams have been not playing for more than a month, so it's it's nice.